you're gonna get me for a one minute TV. Hosted by Carl, where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to Cool TV. Hey, the kids are here. Now the party can start. Yeah, get, get, uh, get started. <laughs> Am I right? Man, I miss y'all. I'm sure you guys remember that I am still on staycation inside my home here. For those of you who are wondering, I've been pretty busy lately. If you're on staycation, you get stuck at home and you don't have anything planned, it can get pretty boring. That's right. So that's why I've already mastered the art of pasta making. I built a birdhouse. And I've already memorized every single dance move that's ever been created. This one is called the Rhode Island Rigamarole. Well, bliss. <laughs> but I tell you what, doing all that sure does make me hungry for some chicken nuggets. That's why I made a bunch of them. Hey, Carl, hey, how hey, are Andy? you doing? Good, good. Doing all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm doing good. Hey, is it okay if I grab that stuff real quick? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Perfect. I'm letting Andy borrow a bag of buttons that I have for a little art uh, per, uh, project thing that he's working on. Did you, did you get it? Yeah, did you get it? Yeah, got it. It's Thanks, in a bag? You got Appreciate it? you. All right, have a good one. Well, anyways, I think I have a little bit of time to snack a little bit before Jada gets here. Hey, where's my bag of nuggets? Where is it? Where, where's what? What'd you do to them, Jada? Whoa, take it easy. What are you talking about? My nuggets, Jada. I put them down though when I was talking to the kids and Andy came here to get <gasps> Andy. Did he take them? Yeah, he took them, that little thief. It's gonna be, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get them if it's the last thing I do. Well, let's just take a breath. I'm sure it was an accident. He's gonna have an accident. Easy, Carl. Right, I'm sorry, that was not nice. It's okay. You guys almost have a Jacob Esau thing going on, huh? Who and who? Jacob and Esau. You remember Isaac from last week, Abraham's kid? Well, Jacob and Esau are Isaac's kids. Twins, actually. Twins? Yep, the story goes that the brothers never really got along well. Even when they were in the belly of the mom, they were fighting. Wow, that is some serious sibling rivalry. It sure was, and the brothers couldn't have been more different. Esau, who was first born, was outdoorsy and a huge hunter, and Jacob was more of a homebody. Hey, kind of like me. That's true. Now, back during these times, the firstborn of families would get something called a birthright. It means that because you were the first to be born in the family, that you would get special rights and blessings that wouldn't be given to the other kids. Really? Huh. So Esau had the birthright. He sure did. But as you can imagine, his brother Jacob was jealous. So that's why one day when Esau came into the house, very hungry and desperate, Jacob saw an opportunity. An opportunity for what? Jacob thought Esau was in such bad shape that he would do anything to feel better. Maybe even give up his birthright. Whoa. So Jacob did exactly that. At the time, he had been making stew, a type of food, and when he saw his brother in so much pain, he offered him some of the stew in exchange for his birthright. Esau, blinded by his hunger, agreed to this, and that's how Jacob took something from his brother that he's had ever since they were born. Just like Andy took my nuggets. Carl? You're right, I'm sorry. But you do have a point. Just like that, something was taken by someone who shouldn't have had it. Jacob tricked Esau into doing something he probably wouldn't ever normally do. I mean, yeah, it's definitely a bummer. I mean, you're supposed to be able to trust your brothers or your friends. Totally. But just like every story from the Bible, we can learn something, you know? Like there will be times where we lose our trust in some people and find it hard to believe others, but that doesn't have anything to do with God. What do you mean? Well, just because people fail us doesn't mean God ever will. We can trust God even when it's hard to trust others. You're totally right. I guess I just- Hey, I am so sorry. I accidentally took your nuggets. I really do apologize about that, man. What's going on? What's going on? Don't. Hey, come here, bud. It's okay, it's all right. You're all right. Okay, you good? All right. Hey, you're good. We're good. Okay, yeah, man, you're fine. Okay, all right, I'll see you later, bud, all right? Yeah. You know? Love you, buddy. Thanks. Well, it looks like Carl got his nuggets back and all is right with the world again. But before we finish up today, let's talk about our big idea. Today's big idea is we can trust God when it's hard to trust each other. It's so important, so let's shout it out on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. 
We can trust God when it's hard to trust each other. Great job, kids. Thank you so much for watching, and we can't wait to see you for the next episode of Grow TV. See you then. Thank you for watching, and tune in next week for a new episode of Grow TV. Kids! So how many of you guys have siblings? Okay, now, how many of you always get along with your siblings? Yeah, none of us, right? Well, even in the Bible, we see a lot of stories about siblings who fight. Today, we are talking about twin brothers, Jacob and Esau. And the Bible says that they were even fighting when they were in their mother's womb. They were like fighting. Now, remember the guy we talked about a couple weeks ago, Abraham? Now, God made a promise that eventually his kids would be this great nation that would bless the whole world. Right, and then Abraham has a son named Isaac, and then Isaac has these twin boys, Jacob and Esau. And they are very different from each other, like very different, and they don't get along. Esau was born first, and he was a total outdoorsman. Loved being outside, loved hunting, was a total adventure seeking guy. He was red hair, and he had hair everywhere, which is like really weird, he's like super hairy. Anyways, he was the firstborn, even though they were twins, he was born first, and that was a really big deal back in the day. That meant he got this thing called a birthright and a blessing. Now, Jacob was the younger twin, and Jacob was like opposite of Esau. Wasn't all hairy at all. Loved being home, like through this series called Staycation. Jacob would love it. Jacob was a total homebody, and Jacob also loved tricking people. Now, one day, Esau comes back from whatever he was out doing, and, well, Esau was not a very good dude. And Esau is super hungry, like he's totally angry, right? And Jacob sees this and takes the opportunity. It actually tricks his brother out of his birthright. Big deal. Seems like a really bad deal for Esau. Like, trading your birthright for some stew? Esau, afterwards, is not happy. Fast forward a couple of years, and Jacob actually tricks their father Isaac into giving him Esau's blessing. So basically, Jacob tricks people into getting Esau's birthright and Esau's blessing. Esau, very mad, like super mad, very angry, because like, I'm gonna kill you! And like, I know sometimes we said to our siblings, but we don't mean we're actually going to kill them. Yeah, Esau meant it. He was going to actually kill Jacob. So Jacob, who loved being home, had to boo, get out of town, flee, run away, run away. And like this really stinks because this is family. They're brothers and family. We're supposed to be able to trust each other. Like, yeah, we're going to get into fights, but eventually we'll be able to forgive each other and move on. But they weren't able to do that. They failed each other. It really stinks when people fail us and people fail us all the time and it really hurts when it's people that are that close to us like family who are supposed to be trusted people and it's really important that you have people in your life that when other people fail you you can go and talk to them like you need some trusted adults in your life maybe that's a leader here at church maybe that's a teacher or somebody else in your family because it really stinks when people close hurt us and we need people to talk to about that and even though it's really hard to trust each other we can always trust God. Isn't that so cool? Like, we can always trust God. God is always going to love us. God is always going to be with us. We can always trust God. In fact, that's our big idea today. We can trust God even when it's hard to trust each other. Today, I want you to remember that. Even though it's hard to even know what it means to trust God, we're going to talk about that in a little bit. Um, we can always trust God. That He's going to love us. That he's going to be with us. He's never going to leave us. We always trust him. All right, guys, we'll come back next week. We're going to see what happens at the end of this story when Jacob and Esau reunite. Crazy story. Can't wait. See you next week.